The Free Market Foundation's Kai Alam project is in Klapmutz in Stellenbosch to celebrate a significant milestone. 10,000 title deeds transferred to homeowners across South Africa since the year 2013. We are delighted to be here to celebrate this major milestone. Please do join us for the highlights of this incredible event. What we're hearing today is such an important message, how we are unlocking economic opportunity for people when they have a sense of ownership, when they own their own homes. Um, and I'll never forget the first time that I met Terry and Tembo when they came to visit us at, at Capitec. And they talked about the flywheel effect, because that's really what happens. When you own your own property, you have a sense of pride, you are able to maintain your property, improve it, and you are actually creating economic opportunity for people in your community. Those same individuals who help you to improve your property, they earn an income and it becomes a knock-on effect, that flywheel effect that we can have in our societies. So I really want to encourage everyone. Um, I think it's a fantastic initiative, a project to remain involved in, and certainly we will continue to be involved in. It's really a privilege to be here today. Thank you very much. Well, I just want to reiterate or emphasize something that's very important and significant in terms of having a title deed. We all know what it means. But the important thing to remember about this always all the time is that the title deed that is uh, legal becomes, means that your property becomes an economic asset, a hard economic asset, which means you who owns the property, you become a shareholder of the national economy. And I was um, humbled again by um, the pride, the dignity, the uh, community in that area, that housing, that owning your own property. And which we attempted to do, and it was around 2015, I was called to the office of a then councillor Mamkele, who was timber, and um, he, uh, he phoned me and he said, uh, can you come and meet somebody? I need you to speak to somebody about title deeds. And, and, and it, it wasn't a big thing then. It was to, we were just starting to scratch and, and, and get a bit of uh, momentum. And I was uh, introduced to Timber. Um, and we had a discussion. And I told him, you know, what, how we see the issues and how we're going to move forward. And, and, and I remember Timber saying to me, you need to meet our fixer. This fixer turned out to be an English farmer from Paris, the Free State Paris. And um, I met Perry, and at our first meeting, I learned a life lesson through Perry. And uh, you know, we're never too old to take a life lesson to heart, and I'm gonna share that with you, and perhaps you too can, can learn. The lesson I learned was, at the end of a meeting, do not say, you can call me any time. Perry did. <laughs> and we approached um, the late Perry then to say, we've got this problem. And he asked us, how are we going to sort it out? Then we said, we need feet on the ground to actually go door to door and we do beneficiary verification, especially for houses that were built before 2010. And... It was hardly two weeks. They had appointed two field workers for us. They are here. 
they also gave them a, a mobile um, photocopying machine because they then realized that most of the people who don't go to the office are elderly people. They are people who are living with, with disabilities. Now, they are able to go to their homes, make photocopies of their IDs in the comfort of their homes, any copies of documents that we need to complete a, a duly signed and legal uh, deed of sale, and they sign all the documents in the comfort of their home. And that is what service delivery is about, Madam Mayor. The other thing that we, the other story is that last year we had a meeting with Terry, and we've got a backlog in a small township called um, Clutesville. We found out that the township, um, the general plan had lapsed at the office of the surveyor general. And we didn't have a, a service provider that was appointed through our tendering system. And that can take many months to complete that process. And Terry said, no, we will provide you with a town planner and we will pay for that town planner. So um, they've really gone out of their way to assist our municipalities in ensuring that we do, er we do get to a stage where we have er eradicated the backlog in terms of the title deeds registrations. I had no idea what this was all about. I had no idea how to go about it, but I had the passion to make a difference, because I believed then, as I believe now, that some of us have received privileges in the past where others did not receive that. And personally, I had the benefit of a wonderful education. Could not pay for it myself, but I studied with bursaries and I was empowered to become a lawyer. And of course, we lived in our own house. My, although my mom, my mom, dad passed away, my mom had her own house, and we never questioned that. We just assumed that, of course, you must have a house. And then later in life, I realized that so many people could not and was denied to possess their own property. That must have been really heartbreaking to know that fact. So one of the things I really wanted to do right from the start in 2011, but when I started in Salem Bosch in 2016, which is relevant now, to make sure that we do some redress, give back to people, empower people, build our country, going, taking it forward in the best possible way. We often speak about housing and dignity. I know that David did as well. We, we fully believe that dignity is, is inherent to you as a human. So nothing that we do here, we can ever claim to be the ones to give dignity to. But what an honor it is to be able to steward the work of acknowledging the dignity that a person deserves and inherently should have in the inherent right that they should have towards private property ownership. Um, and for that reason, we are, we are very, very grateful to have partnered with um, very many municipalities. Terry and I are on a mission um, he, uh, he introduced me this morning to, to David as his tormentor, and I, I must say um, I am because we are on a mission to, to take the 10,000 milestone and multiply it. Um, we are on a mission to get, um, as part of our ambition as APSA Home Loans, to shape our industry in a meaningful way, to get as many players in the real estate and property industry as possible on this bandwagon so that we can get as many partners um, and we can tackle this thing in no time. Now one of the most important things I know when you start making a speech and everybody will tell you is never ever start with an apology. I'm breaking that rule because I have, you have all been brought here, what I want to say is under false pretenses. We actually have not done 10,000 titles. As of today, I believe we've now done 12,000. Very moving. Our oldest recipient was Ellen Chabalala from Paris at 101 years. And somebody said to her, what does this mean to you? You know, obviously trying to pull out some sort of comment from her. 
And she said, now I can die. And I know that my children will get the property. I know it. One of our sponsors actually said to me, you know, it's actually much easier for us to write a check than to do the work. And thank us for doing the work. But without the sponsors, there's no way that we would be here. So the sponsors are probably the most, most important people. And the municipalities. I mean, we have a very good relationship, which Perry initiated. You didn't tell the correct story, Stefan. I think that Perry said to me, gee, well, the first time I met Stefan, he said, what the hell are you doing? What do you, what do you want to do here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, uh, so again, when I phoned up Stefan, he said, anything we can do together. And we've got a meeting, I think, in a few days' time to talk about it. So it just seems to me that everybody involved in housing, from your staff here to your people here, are just, I don't know, uh, it's just something special. And then very special personal thanks to, to Ilza, who's helped with everything. And I mean, this is all amazing what you've done, yeah? And to everybody else. I, I'm sorry that I've left anybody else. Thank you very much. All right. Well, well thank you very much. Please do join me in a final round of applause for the Kailan team and all of the sponsors and participants. Thanks for joining us in Klapmutz in Stellenbosch to celebrate 10,000 title deeds transferred to homeowners across South Africa. My name is David Ansara. This is the Free Market Foundation. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more content from the FMF. Take care.